So breaking news today, Tuesday, January 18th, we're gonna do some reactions here at Game Ranks. Microsoft has announced plans to acquire Activision Blizzard Incorporated. Activision Blizzard, for those of you that don't know, is the massive gaming publisher behind stuff like Overwatch, World of Warcraft, Diablo, Call of Duty, Candy Crush, the mobile game, StarCraft, Crash Bandicoot, and so on and so forth. This transaction, this purchase is valued at $68.7 billion. An amount of money so big, I can't even imagine it. Like, I can't even process that number. This means now that Xbox is getting a bunch of studios, you know, the actual Blizzard Entertainment, Beanox, Demonware, Digital Legends, High Moon Studios, Infinity Ward, King, MLG, Radical Entertainment, Raven Software, Sledgehammer Games, Toys for Bob, Treyarch, and more. This is full stop, like an actual fact, uh, the biggest acquisition in gaming. There has been no other transaction uh, this large ever. And a lot of the big websites and outlets are pushing this as Microsoft's even bigger step deeper into gaming and also the metaverse. Xbox leader Phil Spencer says, players everywhere love Activision Blizzard games and we believe the creative teams have their best work in front of them. Together, we will build a future where people can play the games they want virtually anywhere they want. Now that of course leads to the inevitable question, the exclusivity question. When Microsoft bought Bethesda, there were a lot of people, honestly myself included, that thought that they weren't gonna leave all that money on the table and just be in control of the cash flow and let the properties go on all platforms. Of course, once the deal settled, now all Bethesda games are exclusive. The big upcoming Starfield is going to be on Xbox and PC, not on PlayStation. So that of course now is leading everybody to ask, are big franchises like Call of Duty and Overwatch going just to Xbox? Are they going exclusive? If you wanna just go off of their previous history with Bethesda, it seems like that's pretty likely. On the other hand, like the Microsoft announcement, the press release says Microsoft to acquire Activision Blizzard to bring the joy and community of gaming to everyone across every device. Meaning maybe, no, that's not the case. But people always argue, hey, if you're gonna spend that much money, you're gonna want it to be exclusive to your thing, right? I've seen some industry people out there speculate that it's going to be mostly exclusive, but the big franchises like Call of Duty and Overwatch will keep coming to PlayStation, similar to how they've done it with Minecraft in the past. Now, along with that, a report also surfaced via Bloomberg that states Microsoft plans to keep making some of Activision's games for PlayStation consoles, but will also keep some content exclusive to Xbox. So maybe Call of Duty multi-platform is just too much revenue for them to give up. Hey, I don't know. We'll have to see where it goes. What is weird is that technically now, Spyro the Dragon and Crash Bandicoot are Microsoft properties. They've come a long way from back in the day when they were considered PlayStation mascots. It's just a weird world of corporate mazes that we live in, isn't it? Still, the press releases and announcements really just acknowledge growth in Microsoft's gaming business across mobile, PC, console, and cloud. This is a big play, not only for just gaming that we're into, but also the casual market. Candy Crush and King is a massive empire. They just bought into a massive mobile franchise, which will probably only still go up at this point. Everybody's mom plays Candy Crush. No offense to you if you play Candy Crush, have fun. It's worth noting too that this is a long-term thing. But the bigger question for us, you know, is this going to end up completely exclusive? The way I look at it is maybe they're just trying to make Game Pass an even bigger monster than it already is. They also announced within this news that Game Pass has hit 25 million million subscribers, which is pretty significant. So we'll have to see where that goes. And we're gonna have to wait a while because this is an acquisition of a publicly traded company and not a private company like Bethesda. It's gonna take a while. So it's probably gonna be like 2023 before we get some real substantial answers. And what we do know right now is that leading up to that, Activision CEO Bobby Kotick will remain in his position, a position that a lot of people have called for him to step down because of the allegations and lawsuits against Activision Blizzard for workplace issues. Also, according to the Wall Street Journal, they're just now reporting that Bobby Kotick is expected to leave after the deal eventually closes, according to people familiar with those plans. So take that with a grain of salt, of course, but it does make sense. I mean, you know, the cynical look is that he's getting the golden parachute here. It's a golden parachute to the tune of hundreds of millions of dollars, most likely. And with him leaving and, you know, the mismanagement allegations and accusations, maybe there's a silver lining of improvement 
improved working conditions at least. The announcement says Bobby Kotick will continue to serve as CEO of Activision Blizzard, and once the deal closes, the Activision Blizzard business will report to Phil Spencer, CEO of Microsoft Gaming. So that's where it's at. At least it's also worth pointing out that Phil Spencer on the blog post did go once again into detail in how they are going to let studios do their thing. The quote says, we deeply value individual studio cultures. We also believe that creative success and autonomy go hand in hand with treating every person with dignity and respect. We're looking forward to extending our culture of proactive inclusion to the great teams across Activision Blizzard. So it looks like for this whole situation, the change is not going to happen overnight. It's going to be a slow, steady thing as all the paperwork is filed. And again, this is one of the biggest acquisitions ever. It's one of the biggest ones in gaming and it's absolutely wild. With this, Microsoft and Xbox has gobbled up so many massive franchises. I mean, just look at the lineup here of Activision Blizzard and think about how many of these individual games or fandoms can have their own convention. We've never seen anything like this and I don't know if it's ever gonna be topped. And I, that's not me like cheerleading Microsoft or anything. It's a company gobbling up another company and just growing into this massive behemoth. It certainly is uh, something. So just to put this deal in perspective, 68.7 billion dollars. Uh, the Disney Fox acquisition was 71 billion dollars. Xbox bought Minecraft for $2.5 billion, which seems measly now. And on that, uh, this I believe is Microsoft's biggest acquisition. Microsoft bought LinkedIn, the social media around like getting a job or whatever. I don't know, my job isn't real, uh, but they bought that in 2016 for $26 billion. Also, uh, snack on this, according to the NPD, US game sales set a record in 2021 with total overall consumer spending reaching 60.4 billion dollars consumer spending at $60.4 billion. And this Activision purchase is $68.7 billion. I mean, keep in mind, they're also getting their hands on Call of Duty, a series that usually tops out as the best-selling game of the year. Uh, most recently with 2021, with Call of Duty Vanguard topping the sales charts. And that wasn't even really a very good one. Let this at the very least be an eye-opening moment if you haven't had it. Uh, gaming is absolutely massive. It's a juggernaut. It's bigger than movies. It's bigger than a lot of things. And some of us in our hardcore gaming bubble don't realize just how insane it is. This serves as a stark reminder. And we're going to see how this pans out, because at the end of the day, we're just people playing games, right? We're consumers, so hopefully we don't get boned in this situation. But we're just kind of putting this information out here and some small reactions, but we want to hear from you guys. You guys probably have the big reactions. Uh, we're going to wait and see how this pans out, but let us know in the comments what you think about this massive and scary scary acquisition, uh, what do you think they're going to do with the properties, the exclusivity, are you a PlayStation person, are you an Xbox person, are you a PC person? Because again, PC people are just laughing to the bank right now. Still, let us know what you think. Does this affect you as a consumer? Anything you want about this, just let us know in the comments. We'll probably be talking about this soon. Like I said, I think news is going to trickle out about this one. It's going to be a slow process, but for now, that's where we're at. So let us know what you're thinking and click the like button if you enjoyed this video. If it helped you out or you had fun with us, that's all you gotta do. Thank you for stopping by. We very much appreciate it. We put out videos every single day, so subscribe if you haven't. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.